This is Richard Perry. The Iran War is the next end-time prophecy fulfilled by God. You can see it in Revelation 6, 3 and 4, and Jeremiah 51, 11 through 13. Yehovah, your God, will raise up for you a prophet from Yehovah's people. You must listen to him, for this is what you wanted from Yehovah. I will raise up a prophet from among my people, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he will tell you everything I have commanded him. I myself will call to account anyone who does not listen to my words that the prophet speaks in my name. His name is Yehovah. Almighty God. These men say nothing has to happen before the rapture. I say the Revelation 6-4 array and war happens first. Yehovah deals with false prophets. A prophet who speaks anything that Yehovah has not said or who speaks in the name of another God will be put to death. You say, how can we know if a message has not been spoken by Yehovah? If a prophet proclaims in my name something that does not come true, that is a message Yehovah has not spoken. That prophet has spoken presumptuously. There is no pre-tribulation rapture. Any prophesier prophecy teacher who presumes to speak in my name anything I have not said or who speaks in the name of another God will be in big trouble. Not everyone will enter God's kingdom, but only he who obeys Yehovah, my Father in heaven. I warned you, watch out you are not deceived by the many Christians who say I will rapture the church before the tribulation. I will not. See Matthew twenty four twenty nine. None of you should be teachers, because you know that those who teach will be judged more severely. The time has come, days of punishment. Let my people know, because their sins are many and their hostility great. The prophet is considered a fool, the inspired man crazy. The prophet is the watchman over my people, but there is hostility from God's household. If a liar, deceiver, comes and says, God will save you from the coming tribulation, that would be just the prophet for this people. Because the pastors lack knowledge, they all are mute dogs that cannot warn the flock. They have mighty appetites and never have enough. They go their own way and they each seek their own gain. So the wolves will come in among you and they will not spare the flock. I warned you, watch out that you are not deceived by the many Christians who say I will gather the church before the tribulation. I will not. Son of man, I am sending you to my people, a rebellious people who have rebelled against me. They and their ancestors have rebelled against me to this day. They are obstinate and stubborn. Say to them, this is what Yehovah says. And whether they listen or fail to listen, they will know that a prophet has been among them. Do not be afraid of them or their words. Do not be afraid of what they say or be terrified by them. You must speak my words to them, whether they listen or fail to listen. The Iran War is the next end-time prophecy fulfilled. You can find it in Revelation 6, 3 and 4, and Jeremiah 51, 11 through 13. I have made you a watchman for my people, so hear my word and warn them. If you warn them and they do not turn from their ways, they will die for their sin, but you will be saved. Tell them, if a righteous man turns from his righteousness and does evil, he will die. And if a wicked man turns away from his evil and does what is just, he will live. When I make their land desolate and end their strength, they'll know I am Yehovah. When this happens, they will know a prophet has been among them.
These men say nothing has to happen before the rapture. I say the Iran war happens first. Christian, you've been deceived. There is no pre-tribulation, resurrection, and rapture. Check the scriptures for yourself and you'll see the truth. The Watchman's Guide to the Rapture The Watchman's Guide to the Rapture is a biblical study of the resurrection and rapture of the church. This comprehensive study carefully examines when Christ gathers the church into his coming kingdom. 